Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a contact us page uh, using Elementor and a contact form 7 plugin. Uh, after making the page, uh, it will uh, look something like this, uh, a banner and some, let me refresh the page. Okay, the banner, some text here, uh, the contact form 7 uh, will go here and some addresses and the map and uh, phone numbers etc. Okay, for this purpose uh, you will need uh, Elementor installed, uh, Elementor plugin on your WordPress dashboard. Okay, uh, first of all uh, you will have to download this template uh, which is available online and uh, install it on your uh, WordPress uh, let me show you how first of all open a new browser then open this website z a m a w e b s i t e dot com and press enter Okay, after opening this website, uh, click on browse link here. It will take you to the shop page and uh, this is the template I was uh, showing you. So uh, click on this. You can uh, click on preview uh, if you want to see how the page will look like by yourself. Then uh, here is the preview. and you can download it from here uh, it's free of cost uh, so you only have to press this add to cart button then just proceed to checkout give your name here and click on place order it will simply uh, give you the download link here is the download link contact us page uh, style 2 and click on contact us page style 2 button here in the download column and save it wherever you want for example I'm keeping it on my desktop okay now uh, I have this file on my desktop here okay first of all uh, right click and extract files to a folder here is the folder and now uh, we got the JSON file here okay now come to your WordPress website where you want to uh, create or build the template, uh, build the page like that. Uh, click on pages, add new and then please uh, first remember that uh, you have to 
uh, install the Elementor plugin first. Elementor plugin and uh, Contact Form 7 plugin. Uh, as you can see, I have the Contact Form 7 plugin already installed and uh, Elementor as well. Elementor is also here. Okay, uh, for this page, I'll give it the name Contact Us. Uh, sample page and for the uh, in the page attribute section uh, click on Elementor canvas uh, remember that selection uh, I'll discuss it uh, in the middle of the video uh, what's the purpose of fill full width and canvas so uh, for now uh, we will just go with the canvas and publish Okay, the page is now published. Uh, just click on edit with Elementor here. It will load the Elementor editor on the front end. Okay, here as you can see, uh, when we chose the Elementor Canvas uh, template, uh, it will hide the default menu and the default footer of your uh, existing template or existing theme. Uh, but if you choose uh, Elementor Full Width, then uh, it will allow uh, this template to get the menu from your default uh, theme and the footer as well. Uh, but we are using the canvas because uh, if you can see this page uh, this page do not have any menu or any footer but this this footer is included with this template uh, you will see uh, in shortly okay uh, click here add template and come to my templates okay here uh, you will click on this import template and click on select file uh, we made a, a file on the desktop and extracted it here uh, contact page style 2 and open it will import the uh, template but uh, we will have to insert that template in this page as well uh, but first it will import it uh, in the library it will take uh, a couple of seconds and it's done okay here is the contact page with Elementor contact form 7 uh, click on insert Okay, the template is now uh, inserted and all the elements and text uh, with images are here but uh, there is one thing uh, that I have to mention here uh, I already have the contact uh, plugin the contact plugin installed and uh, I had a contact us uh, section uh, which was uh, the same ID as the template uh, let me show you uh, let me explain okay this is the ID and this is the contact form title so uh, when it matches uh, my contact form here in the dashboard then uh, it will automatically get that uh, that form but uh, let me show you how to change this form okay uh, now you have all these things in your page uh, but if you don't get this uh, this contact form then you can just uh, remove this short code click on this edit and remove this short code and then click uh, click here again and you will get this empty short code section uh, now you can come to your admin panel In your admin dashboard, uh, you will have to click on uh, contact us forms or 
contact on the right sidebar the left sidebar you will uh, you will see all the forms you have when you are installing the contact form 7 plugin uh, it by default makes this uh, this one form and uh, you can set up uh, as you wish but uh, if you if you set up it later then you just copy this short code and add it to this element click this element and add it here and then apply and you will see uh, the contact form appeared here okay uh, the contact form is now here okay for uh, for the section edits uh, when you click on this uh, when you want to change this image uh, click on this these uh, six dots of the whole panel and you will get this layout click on style and you will see this background you can click on this and change it to any other background uh, you have on uh, your PC you can upload it or if you already uploaded the file then you can choose it from here and it will be changed just like that okay if you want to change the position of uh, the background image then uh, it's mentioned here center right default center center but uh, I think it's uh, it's pretty much uh, looking better in this default mode okay and uh, when you click on this section this uh, pen editing uh, this editing edit heading button then you can change this text uh, connect or anything you want to change uh, similarly if you want to change any of these sections just click on that and you will be able to edit uh, that text or uh, the image you want uh, for example if for the background of uh, this section you will have to uh, select the whole section this one and click on style and you will see like this okay if you want to preview your page uh, how it will look like then uh, click on this preview changes it's still loading you can see that the page is now uh, set up on our local host and all the text uh, you changed is the changes are there okay now for these sections uh, you can just click here and edit this text or if you want to change this one the headings then you can change the icon and the text as well for all these sections and for the map uh, just click on this edit map button and uh, change the address from this to anyone you want then uh, it will automatically pin to that address also uh, you can increase or decrease the zoom of the map uh, by uh, scrolling the slider to uh, minimum or maximum and you can also uh, set up the height of the map to anything you want I'll prefer uh, the matching the height of this box like 
this but uh, a little bit bigger than that will be much prettier okay click on update and the preview will be automatically refreshed Okay, that's all for now. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, and give us a thumbs up. Thank you.